hello again so this evening I'm going to wash the car so I purposely waited until in the evening because now you see that the car is in the shade and you're not supposed to wash the car in the Sun because that is bad yeah uh, things will dry out too fast so now it's around 8 in the after uh, 8 in the evening so we have about two hours of daylight um, but it shouldn't take more than about an hour so let me show you how it looks like in the beginning now so I've been driving, uh, barely legal as usual. So there are lots of insect, uh, dead insects here, stains. And then here we have, I don't know, schmutz. I think it wasn't properly cleaned. Oh, bullseye. Um, now with this one, we have a Lumar paint protection film on top of this. Yeah, so that's good. Um, this is also usually a place where you get insects and schmutz. Uh, the rims are pretty, uh, uh, yeah, there's some brake dust on them. So, um, okay, it doesn't look too bad, but uh, I think it needs a proper cleaning. I haven't done it for a while. Actually, I haven't done it since I, I received Optimus. So, uh, we're going to start with, uh, with a degreaser. So, the degreaser I'll be using is called Prick Boot which means get the pricks away here yeah, in Norwegian. So this was uh, recommended by uh, Pizza Beer Player. They are, uh, uh, why they do lots of stuff, but the right wrapping and it's detailer. So uh, yes, you know, I have lots of pricks on my cars. I want to get it away. Yeah, so let's uh, start spraying some. All right, now I have applied the degreaser and you saw that I only took the lower part here and the hood and the dirtiest places. And uh, you want to apply this when the car is dry because then uh, it won't be watered out. So do it on a dry car and then wait a couple of minutes and then I will uh, rinse it off and I use this one. It's a high pressure washer. So now the car is kind of clean, but um, if you look closer here, especially in the front, you see that we still have lots of traces of insects. So, um, yes, I mean, I should dry it out. Well, it's been dried out a little bit, so I'm going to sin. But um, what I will do now is use this one, which is like a, it's some chemicals for uh, loosening up insects. And then we wait about three minutes for the chemicals to react and then we rinse it off again. All right, so it, it's kind of clean, but I think to get rid of the rest, we have to physically rub the car. But uh, now I will work on the rims, because the rims are pretty dirty. They have schmutz and they have brake dust. So to get rid of that, I'll use uh, Iron X. So again, it's some chemical that will loosen up the, the iron. So just spray it on like this. And then wait a couple of minutes and it will start bleeding. Oh, someone's been driving like he stole the trailer. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay, so that was the front wheel, the front rim. The rear, not so much, because most of the braking force will be in the front.
And the next thing I do is I use this foam cannon. Now I want to foam the car so all the dirt can uh, run off. So finally we are ready to wash the car and you see we have two buckets. This is important. This one has soap water and this one has clean water and I have this grit guard. So what you want to do is you dip in here, you wash the car and then afterward you rinse it in here to get rid of all the grit because there will be like sand or whatever in here and that will be trapped under this grit guard and every time you dip it in here because the grit guard will protect you from you know uh, grabbing that grit and uh, cause micro scratches on your paint so yes time to wash the car and see I use this microfiber mitten to wash the car because it has all these small like I don't know what you call them but they can absorb all the dirt without making too much scratches and you want to use lots of water and just kind of like gently wipe it here. You want lots of soap and lots of water. The last thing I do is wipe clean the car. Um, I'm gonna wipe it dry because uh, if you don't dry away these uh, these bars here, they can create some spots. So just do it carefully like this. I use the microfiber cloth. All right, here is the final result. So it's pretty clean for now. Yeah. Uh, of course, I could have cleaned the rims better, but uh, it was good enough. Um, so, um, you know, I have a Lumar paint protection film on the hood and the front fender here. So, uh, that will protect against uh, scratches and uh, when I get bombarded by uh, schmutz in winter. And then the paint here, the rest of the car, actually also in the front here, is uh, protected with, um, uh, what do you call it again? Ceramic coating. I have the badge back here, DTEC Ceramic Ultra, so I don't have to uh, to wax the car, all I have to do is just wash it, and then it'll be shiny like this, oh yes, yes. let me show you how shiny it is now, no waxing need, oh, oh, oh yes, look at that, look at that, oh, acid trip, oh yes, let me try from the other side. Wow, that is shiny, but uh, I think the effect was better on the on the right side here because of the, the angle of the light. But wow, that was pretty cool. It is so shiny now. Oh, it feels great to have a shiny car again. But uh, <laughs> you know what? It's nice and shiny now, but uh, I'm going on a, a long trip this weekend. And then after this weekend, I'm also going to go on an even longer trip. So I have about... Um, uh, 2,000, wait, 3,500 kilometers. So let's see how dirty the car will be <laughs> in about a week. Yes, but uh, I guess uh, that's it for now. So talk to you guys later.